What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Uniqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. Y'all already know if no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter. Now, <clears throat> this is the um, cards that I got out of your pre-shuffle, so we're going to jump right into your reading. Someone used you as a scapegoat and broke your heart into complete pieces, all right? Someone has used you not only as a scapegoat, but as an easy target and some type of bullying here. I'm hearing cyberbullying, online bullying. Something that has to do with technology, okay? This person was a straight up bully. Possibly, y'all could have fought this person or there could have been some stabbing going on. Um, the knives is what's sticking out to me and it's a person, this bully has a knife. Or you probably got threatened many of times in this bullying situation, okay? But you definitely was used as an easy freaking target and as a scapegoat. There you go. Thank you, spirit. In some, sort, uh, in some form of bullying where there was a tormentor involved that kept tormenting you and tormenting you and tormenting you to where it literally broke your heart in pieces for some of you guys to heal the pain you took a lot of showers or bubble baths okay a lot of you guys cried at nighttime it hit you hard when it was time for you to rest rest your head you had a hard time with resting because of the deep betrayal that we will get into but definitely a target an easy target someone thought of you like and use you as an escape goal to torment you, to bully you, and to antagonize you, possibly hurt you. All right? Someone was a bystander to that, that you was connected to. Possibly a lover, possibly a friend. But this person is coming towards you because their conscience is starting to kick in. They realizing whatever that broke your heart it was unethical, it was distasteful, and it lacked values. And no one should be done like that. For others of you, this person is contemplating about coming to bring you apology, but they done you so wrong and they realize the bullying, they realize the tormenting, they realize you being a scapegoat and an easy target because literally that's what it says here. Okay, an easy freaking target. They don't even know if you're going to accept their apology. Because of all the hurt and the drama that they caused you and the pain and the suffering. So for some of you guys, this person is coming. This person is definitely coming. But we don't know when they're coming because they have yet to take that action. And... That's this person, that's this Knight of Cups problem now. Because through this tormenting, through these false accusations that was um, spread upon you through bullying, social bullying, antagonizing you, tormenting you, this person covered their face with their shield and act like nothing never happened. But something been revealed or something has kicked in to where this person's conscience is eating them up to where they had no choice but to lift the veil and see things for what is really going on okay and this person got a lot of love for you so their conscience is really starting to kick in like why did i do this person like that so let's get into your reading collectives Again, remember, um, first of all, thank you for all my new subscribers. Shout out to y'all. I really, really love y'all. And thank you for all my original subscribers. Y'all already know. Y'all hold it down. Um, remember, every reading that I do is not going to resonate for all of you guys because I do a collective reading. So I'm just being called to tell you, like, take the readings as it resonates. If, reson if it starts resonating, switch your energies around as fit and leave the shit that zone, okay? But let's get into your reading. What is this apology for? Spirit, what is this apology for? Mm. They made you feel attacked and lonely 
5 one on the clock. You were being attacked by all sides. People was in your business from all sides. People that you didn't even know, okay? It was spiritually attacking you from all sides, making you feel completely lonely, lonely and brokenhearted, okay? Possibly in a relationship, and you was wondering why would somebody stand there and be a bystander to someone that was using you as an easy target to bully it. This person wants to come and apologize for making you feel alone and unprotected and isolated. For making you heal by yourself. Okay? Why is this, um, why is this bully in here, spirit? What is this bully in here for? What is going on with this angry bully that use people as a escape goat and a target to torment them? Look, for money. It's always about money. It's always about somebody else's blessings. But whatever they're expecting is not falling through because they hurt somebody on the path of getting to this sudden wealth. They bullied their way in to a situation and caused someone to be an easy target to a tormenting of bullying and scapegoating and breadcrumbing. While somebody sat there and watched and put their armor over their face and act like they were shielded and blindfolded. And now maybe because the money is not coming in, the tormentor and the bullier, bully starts arguing with this Knight of Cups because shit didn't work out. And now this Knight of Cups is realizing how fucked up the situation was, how dark it was. How dark you felt to be alone in an attack like this when somebody's tormenting you. That's a strong word. But because they made you feel dark and alone, because you had to heal and learn that you are never alone. Whatever they was expecting will not go in their favor collective. Whatever they whatever they was expecting is not going in their favor. So they can forget about that is what I'm hearing. Because you can't do that to people. Look, whatever they whatever they thought is not going in their favor. They're completely blocked. Look, and now they sad. They sad for now because they broke your heart. Guess who heart broke in? Spirit, why is this Knight of Cups here? Who is this Knight of Cups, please? What is this apology for? Who is this Knight of Cups? Look, block. You moved, whoever you are, you moved away to calmer waters. You completely blocked this person. You, For some of you guys, you literally got this person on blocked on your phone. For others of you guys, you literally moved away. You moved. You separated yourself from the whole environment. And for others of you guys, you just mentally took your energy back and closed out a cycle of a repetitive experience of heartbreak, of lack, of loneliness, and being bullied and torment tormented for some type of sudden wealth that you had, that they was expecting, and using you as an escape goat to get there some sort of sudden wealth and abundance. But spirit done got you out of there. For others of you, you got children. So you and your children will be great and you will be receiving this sudden wealth. Okay? And keep this person blocked. Keep them blocked. Protect your energy. This is you protecting your dreams and your aspirations and your emotions. Okay? And this is you. This is spirit following suit. 
getting you up out of there. See, what you was dealing with was heartbreak, bullying, lack, loneliness, feeling betrayed, and you was in choppy waters. You had to be on God. Spirit is taking you out of there. Look at that calm water you about to experience. Look at them calm emotions you about to experience. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Who is he? Who is this energy? Look, sad. It came out again. I'm telling you guys, it's like spirit be all over my cards. This Knight of Cups is sad because you blocked them physically and spiritually and mentally. It's, I'm hearing you're dead to them. Like they're dead to you because they was acting like you was dead to them. And now they cannot believe that they can does not they don't have no contact to you. And for some of you guys, you don't even live next to them. So they more burdened because they really can't get in contact with you. Like you completely bounced. What is this expectations in reverse? Mm. They was expecting to probably physically fight you. Because remember what I said, stabbing and all of that. They probably wanted to fight you because of how abundant you were. All right. And whatever they was expecting didn't go through. Remember what I said? It didn't go through. So now everybody fighting. Now everybody in shambles. Everybody blaming each other. Everybody acting crazy. And you still sitting on your throne with your bag, with your pinnacles, with your values, with good character. And whatever they was expecting, I'm telling you, didn't fall through. And now they fighting. Look, a message. A message that they go into fucking jail. Okay. Yeah, but whatever they was expecting didn't fall through. And now there probably was a lot of people involved beside this masculine. Because I don't know if I said it in the beginning. I don't think that this masculine was really involved. I think that they just sat there and put on a facade like they closed their mask and just was blinded to the situation. So now that something didn't work out, everybody is attacking everybody. Everybody felt like they plan fell. Spirit done got you out of there with the six of swords. And now they are faced to receive the same betrayal, but even worse. Because, you know, what you don't get is when you do shit like this and when you're ready to fight over other people's wealth and abundance when you've been expecting something that didn't fall through because you've been so envious and bullying and tormenting people and trying to bully in your, your own situation guess what the same hurt you cause they could heal but it won't be nothing compared to what you feel somebody can heal over the three of swords because they're gonna go on the four of swords and they're gonna heal Y'all going to get done dirty, whoever was trying to do this, um, to this three of swords energy. And we're about to find out who this three of swords right now. All of that hurt that you try to cause this three of swords energy, you're feeling it 10 times. You're feeling it 10 times. Worse. All because what? An opportunity that you was trying to come up on? That you didn't even do all your homework on. Because you're coming out as a page. Which is very immature. And low vibrational. In this energy. On the table. Alright. Fighting. Literally. A whole mob of people. Fighting. Outside influence. Fighting over your abundance. Your abundance. This person chose... A whole bunch of motherfuckers over you and now want to come and apologize after they made you feel completely lonely and distressed and sad and you had to pick yourself back up. But all they did was make you go further towards the bag because you stand on your throne as the queen of pentacles. You are fully planted in your values, in your character. 
and you're not ready to risk your integrity. That's how you always keep money. These people are very low vibrational, all right? Why is this three of swords here? Who is this three of swords? Look, the queen of fucking cups, what I told y'all. Y'all is somebody that is sweet and kind, that is very open, that is a therapist-like, that is an ear, okay? You are someone that listens and provides wise counsel. You nurture. And you are fucking psychic too. You probably have dreams and everything. You know this person. For some of you guys, this is just confirmation. If you are in this Queen of Cups energy, you already know that this person is about to come and love bomb you. Yeah, look. They're about to love bomb you, but they still a liar. 16 on the clock. They still a liar. They still hurting other people and want to act like they single, but they not. Okay, they probably got two other energies that they are dealing with currently. Tell me about this five of wands. What is all of this chaos and confusion about, about somebody else's freaking abundance? Look, justice, they not get it. What I said. They're gonna, it's gonna be a message that it's not going in their favor. It's a wrap. Let me turn this around, Spirit saying. They're about to receive a brutal message. This message is about to be brutal because when a justice card comes out, it's going to be a hard truth that in a hard pill you gotta swallow, baby. That shit ain't going in your favor. Why is this lonely card here? Please and thank you. Feeling attacked. Well, thank you, spirit. And this is this is the people that was attacking you. Right here. This is the people that was attacking you. Remember at 1717, 17, spiritually attacking you. They was attacking you, attacking your dream state. They was attacking uh, your thoughts and your psyche. They was attacking your mental, everything. That's why you see so many people. And this person did not defend you. You know why? Because they can't defend themselves. They're coming out as two pages. The page of Pentacles with a little ass offer. And the page of cups with love bombing. Grow up. They need to heal before they try to come in and try to love bomb you. They need to deal with, the, with these people. Because spirit, spirit, you don't got nothing to worry about. Spirit is about to lead you to calmer waters. You ain't going to have to deal with those choppy waters no more. Spirit, what is this um, loneliness? Look, what did I say? You won't be lonely no more. Oh my gosh, I do not lie. They wanted you lonely, but that loneliness only made you be by yourself. Wine and dine yourself. Okay. If that if lonely makes me get to the bad, okay. If lonely makes me accumulate wealth and I have to spend it by myself, okay. If money, I mean, if loneliness and a betrayal allows me to connect with spirit so I could be resourceful, I mean, why not? Thank you, actually. Thank you. Any closing messages? Um, for my collectives. Any closing messages for my collective spirit? They literally thought that this betrayal hurt your feelings. In all reality, it only caused them to fight amongst each other. And they thought you was going to be lonely forever, but the lonely got you into the nine of pentacles energy. <laughs> I'm hearing crying in a Benz than a Honda. So you guys will be upgrading. Yeah, look, you guys matured. You guys matured. What? Remember what I said? These people are coming up as pages and nice. Like this is immature energy. You're not even a king or a queen or nothing like that. 
You coming up wanting to apologize unhealed. Got people all around you fighting for somebody else's abundance. What you did was, even though you by yourself, you got to that bag. You matured. You became mature. And all, everything, like your dreams and that sudden wealth, got you into this nine of pentacles energy. It came on a distant horizon. Okay? They can't hold you back. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, they try to trap you with a child. And for others of you guys, you already know what I'm about to say because it comes up in all my readings. This child is not his. So take it how it resonates. I'm tired of saying that. Y'all already know that this baby is not this man. It comes up in every reading sometimes. But this time, I feel like this, this person trying to trap you with a baby and you put it into that shit, or it could be the other way around. This person got a baby that's not his. All right? There's a gift coming. There's a gift coming of some sort of unexpected income because you kept it solid. You remain solid. Throughout this whole situation, throughout all of this chaos and confusion and deceit, you remain solid. So congratulations, and I'm proud of you guys because that's what my collectives do. Remain solid and know that you have the ability to control only your actions, not these unhealed, immature individuals that's going after somebody else's craft and got a whole gang of people that is fighting because the plan didn't work. I love you.